taxation regime that is endemic in Kenya has been a source of strain for citizens who are forced to dig deeper every year to fund the ever-growing government expenditure. And this year is no different with the new government sticking to the script and increasing the tax burden further. But is this the right move for an economy that is still struggling to get back on its feet? Adelaide Chingole explores the story. Each Kenyan in formal employment gets a monthly salary of about 38,000 shillings. This is thereafter subjected to a 30% income tax and is then subsequently reduced by a series of indirect taxes. The remaining sum is expected to cover all personal costs. All this has meant that many Kenyans are forced to live from hand to mouth. Now a raft of tax changes meant to fund the current 1.6 trillion shilling budget are bound to stretch the little take home even further. For starters, the government has reviewed the VAT structure, reducing the number of tax-exempt goods from 443 to 27. And while this has drawn praise from analysts, the government has been faulted for failing to make the move tax neutral. Uh, the good compromise should have been then to reduce the rate of VAT, the standard, what we call the standard rate, which is 16 percent, 14 and a half, or even 15 percent. That, uh, in, in a, with the view of trying to make that tax effect revenue neutral. The government has also unveiled a 10 percent excise duty on all financial transactions, which means Kenyans will have to pay more to withdraw money from their bank accounts or access mobile money services. And to top it all off, the state introduced a 1.5% railway development levy that will be charged on all imports. I think to understand government's movies, you realize they just want more money. Uh, the consequences are a secondary consideration. And the consequences are a double whammy for Kenyans who now have less money and must find a way to buy the now more expensive good and services, a fact that will downgrade the quality of life for the average Manainchi a very small formal sector and we have a very small number of people who work so it's the same wages that we'll be sending to other people up country buying those goods and services on which the same taxes will apply so definitely you've increased the burden of taxation for those in the formal sector this then begs the question is increasing taxation to fund government spending the right move for kenya we, we need to to re, re, re look at what we are doing in our economy and does it make sense all the same, the die has been cast for Kenyans who will now find the going harder and the times tougher as they are squeezed for every cent they have. Adelaide Changole, KTN Business Today.